Many men communicate, meet, and live with a woman without even realizing that she is ill. Moreover, we are not talking about some kind of cold. We are talking about serious mental disorders, which can be quite difficult for a simple layman to identify. After all, a woman at first glance looks absolutely healthy and adequate. But this is at first glance. And with closer communication with such a woman, a lot of problems manifest themselves. Starting from regular scandals and ending with her groundless departures, suicide attempts, and serious alcohol problems. But again, men attribute all this to the increased emotionality of a woman and her complex character. Surely you've thought about it. Such a problem will definitely not affect me. There are not so many mentally ill people. But according to the observations of doctors, every third person on earth has signs of mental health disorders to one degree or another. And this figure is only growing. If you have problems in a relationship, you and your girlfriend or wife constantly quarrel about and for no reason she regularly has mood swings. Can't you figure out what the problem is? You're wondering, why is she constantly dissatisfied with something? Why does she throw tantrums so often? What are you doing wrong and what do you need to do to finally calm her down? Maybe it's not about you at all and only an experienced psychiatrist can solve the problem. You've definitely encountered such women many times in your life. Or maybe he was even in a relationship. I repeat, such a woman looks quite adequate. And most people, even talking to her for a long time, think that she has no mental problems. Although this is not the case. And most of all, she causes problems to her loved ones, in particular to her man. Have you ever dated a woman who, in your opinion, had mental problems? Write in the comments how your relationship developed and how it ended. Like it, and I'll start. So the first common mental disorder is bipolar affective disorder or manic depressive psychosis. According to various sources, from 1 to 3% of the world's population suffer from this disease. Both men and women. Even many stars admitted to being sick with bipolar affective disorder. In particular, Mariah Carey, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Kanye West, Elon Musk. Women suffer from this disease more often. One of the main factors in the occurrence of bipolar affective disorder is genetics. Therefore, if your woman's doctors have previously diagnosed someone from her relatives with such a diagnosis, then she is also at risk. This disease is characterized by sudden mood swings when a state of depression alternates with a condition called mania. During depression, a woman is in a bad mood, feels weak, apathetic, has trouble sleeping and loses her appetite. In a state of mania, a woman's physical activity increases greatly and her self-esteem increases. She can joke a lot, generate a lot of ideas. It would seem that it's okay. But in this state, a woman is overly impulsive and therefore often overestimates her capabilities. Overestimates the risk associated with his actions. Therefore, some of her ideas may turn out to be absolutely delusional. Also, against the background of increased emotionality, she may experience outbursts of anger, which end in serious conflicts with others and even fights. Her mood changes can occur both gradually and suddenly, often for no apparent reason. The duration of the phases of depression and mania is unpredictable. It can last from a few days to several years. But the signs of each of the phases are inappropriate behavior. Between these phases, a state of intermission occurs when the disease does not manifest itself in any way. Intermission can also last from several days to several years. After that, there is another phase of mania or depression. Unfortunately, this disease is incurable and it can only be transferred to a state of stable remission. What is the danger of a woman who has bipolar disorder? During depression, she may have a desire to take her own life. And according to doctors, up to 35% of patients experience this desire. And at the stage of mania, when a woman is most aggressive, she may try to cause physical damage to others. In particular, to her boyfriend or husband. In my practice, I have repeatedly encountered situations where a woman literally mutilated her man. For example, recently there was a case when, during a fit of anger, a woman approached a city man from behind and kicked him in the head. As a result, he suffered a concussion and was unconscious for some time. And after a while, doctors revealed that the woman had bipolar disorder. 
Therefore, if your woman regularly has bouts of inappropriate behavior, then she has fun like a child tells you about her ambitious goals and desires. And after a while, she forgets about her plans and complains about how bad she feels, what a loser she is. Then think about it. Maybe she's sick and she has bipolar affective disorder. The next disease, which is even more common and affects about 5% of the world's population, it's depression. Women are more prone to depression. On average, they are diagnosed with this disease twice as often as men. Among the stars suffering from depression, Jim Carrey, J.K. Rowling, Hugh Laurie, Gwyneth Paltrow can be distinguished. And even Winston Churchill was haunted by this disease throughout his life. Depression can be identified by the following symptoms. As a rule, after experiencing stress, for example, after the loss of a close relative or after childbirth, a woman loses her appetite. She loses interest in everything that is happening. She does not want to make any decisions. He is constantly in a bad mood, looks at everything that is happening with pessimism. For obvious reasons, she refuses to have sex. In addition, in the hope of relieving mental pain, she may consume alcohol and other psychotropic drugs in excess. Surely you will have a question. What is the difference between depression and sadness? You can be sad for a long time, for several days or even weeks. And I am often consulted by men who have been abandoned by their girlfriend or wife. Yes, at such a moment a man is sad. The sadness does not go away immediately, but nevertheless, he sometimes has periods of activity. Both physically and emotionally. A man gets better over time. And with depression, the symptoms on the contrary only get worse. The man is getting worse. While the patient has practically no periods of physical and emotional activity. Depression can be confused with dysthymia. With dysthymia, the symptoms are approximately the same. The only difference that the disease occurs even in a milder form, but lasts a very long time, often several years. Therefore, sometimes dysthymia is called chronic depression. The third disease, which is also very common in the modern world, is latent schizophrenia. Famous personalities with schizophrenia include Van Gogh, Salvador Dali, Amanda Bynes, and Veronica Lake. In classic schizophrenia, a person can experience both hallucinations and delusional disorders. He can sit for hours without moving or talking can communicate with someone visible to him or tell how he hears incomprehensible voices. From such a person, even an ordinary man in the street can immediately see that he has problems with his head. And in latent schizophrenia, the symptoms are not so pronounced. The main signs of a latent schizophrenic are capriciousness and stubbornness. Such a woman can make a promise and then not keep it. Latent schizophrenics are very lazy and don't want much. Nevertheless, a woman with latent schizophrenia sometimes experiences periods of emotional uplift. This condition is called hyperbulia. When she starts planning something, doing something actively, but quickly gives it up. Why are women with all of the above diseases so attracted to men? They unconsciously use the mechanisms of emotional swing. Such a woman in a depressed state very easily manages to blame a man and in parallel drive him into a state of depression. In fact, he is under the influence of manipulation, which is called imposed guilt. And the better a man feels when a woman's mood improves and he can again enjoy near her state of comfort and peace. But as you realize, it's all short-lived. Just until the next change in her mood. Seeing how bad a woman feels, how she suffers, a man involuntarily turns into a rescuer who helps her to solve the problems with her poor health. And in such a state, you can be all your life, not realizing that it is not your help that she needs, but treatment from an experienced doctor. So if your woman after some time after the beginning of the relationship began to regularly throw you scandals, she is constantly changing moods. She does not know what she wants. Think about it. Maybe it's not at all in her heightened emotionality. It's that she's sick. Therefore, if you have started a relationship with a woman and you suspect that she has serious mental disorders, it is better to make a difficult decision to break up once than to put up with her inadequate behavior all your life and suffer in the hope that things will change. However, I hope that all the above problems will pass you by.